everybody, Ben here from DMC Films and Center Block Studios. I'm back with another quick tip for all you acrylic painters out there, and some, a lot of times probably some of the oil painters as well. So anytime you're working on a canvas, one of the things that you kind of come across is that uh, when you go to hang it on a wall, uh, you don't always have this nice spot on the back, and so you'll need something like a piece of wire to hang this up with. Now while a lot of times if you're just displaying in homes, that kind of thing, you can you just use the edge of the canvas as you know your point to hang it on a nail or hang it on anywhere else. But the problem is once you start hanging in shows and different things, you're going to need the versatility that the wire provides in order to hang the piece. Now this is a piece that I just put the wire on. And the, and the thing with the wire is that it's much sturdier and it won't come loose at all. So there's really no chance of it falling off the wall. Now this piece here I had, had you know hanging up on the wall for a while, but after a while it kind of works its way off the nail. And again, you want to put the wire on there to be sure that you don't have really any problems with anything hanging up. Now when you go to put the wire on the piece, you want to make sure you have something to attach them to. And personally, I use eye hooks, which are these little round hooks that I have screwed in on either side of the, uh, of the canvas. Uh, the trick is to make sure that they are uh, the same height from the top and bottom. Uh, just the easiest way to do that is to take a ruler and uh, measure from the uh, corner of the canvas down uh, to roughly about the middle, probably a little higher uh, for any canvas that you don't want to have it sort of lift or, or uh, fall forward or, or back too far. So I've secured the screws in place and at this point it's just about uh, pulling on the wire and for that all we need is a pair of pliers. In this case I've got needle nose pliers and that's really just a preference. You, you can do any type of pliers really. Uh, the center of these pliers have a little section to cut the wire, which is what makes them a little bit more handy. So I'm using a 24 gauge brass wire that I picked up at the art store a couple of years ago. I'm actually starting to run out. This was 100 foot. And, uh, for that, for this piece, we should only need a, a section. Oh, about that big. You want to make sure that it's a little bit longer than the piece itself, because you don't want to run out of room when you're tying. So you want to have an adequate tying room. Grab a little bit more. Just remember, you can always trim a little excess off, but it's not good when you're a little bit short. So, we'll just fish it through the end. Make a little loop. I'm trying to keep it relatively small. And with that little loop, you can pull this by hand, but it gets a little difficult, which is why the pliers come in handy. Just give you a little extra leverage. So you tie that knot on there, and when you think it looks good, sometimes you're not really sure, just wrap the wire around your hand and give it a good tug. Make sure I'm not tangled around anything. So now we know it's secure. So we'll flip this over, bring it around to the other side. I'll come in from the back again. And this time we should have plenty of room to work with. And again, you want to pull that as tight as you can. You don't want to leave it too loose, especially if you're working on a, a canvas where your screws are a lot higher up on the on the piece. And if the wire is too long, it'll be too loose, and it'll actually show on the wall. You want to give the illusion that the canvas is just sort of floating on the wall, not so much hanging by the wire. The wire is just there, sort of, to assist. Uh, it's not going to work. The wire is there to assist the piece. Uh, and hanging on the wall, but is not designed to you know, really kind of set the piece apart by saying, oh look, it's hanging with a wire. So again, to get that loop tight, pull on with, the, with your pliers. And probably not going to be perfect, but you should be able to double knot this. Get those two loops working together. Another 
excess, at least for the couple a couple of times. I like to get the loop sort of tied around the edge. Give it that extra bit of security. And clip off the rest. So again, just put a nice tug on the wire, make sure it's secure. And it should be, in, but in case it, it tends to unravel and come loose, you'll just have to try it again. Now, this particular piece you might recognize as, as Tree of Knowledge, Tree of Chaos. There is a time lapse of this piece up on the channel. And what I did with this piece is I both signed the bottom corner and the top corner so the piece can be flipped uh, to whatever desired uh, top and bottom that you want. And now for that, which is what helps with this wire, is the it's not only this way, but you can flip around and put it on the other side. So that's the versatility of keeping the wire closer to the center, but granted this is sort of a special case, and it's not really necessary, but you keep it as close to the center, and you can usually stick the wire a little bit closer up to the top. So whether it be a nail on a wall or a hook in a gallery, your piece is ready for hanging, regardless of where you put it. More tips, tutorials, and other art videos. This is Ben from DMZ Films and Cinderblock Studios. See you guys next time.